hazard, come out of the hole, come out of the woodwork, come into the fold. Rebels or fighters, I like to cool. This tattoo was that one there, the uh, red star. When I was 18, on my 18th birthday, my birthday money, I just went down and said, what can I get for 25 quid? He's like, what do you want? I'm like, I want a star or something. Diver's helmet, just because I like loads of underwater stuff. So I've got the, uh, the uh, mine as well. Then the uh, octopus that goes right up. Yeah, I've just had that done by uh, Abby Williams at Black Lantern. Uh, I got it just because I really liked it. I've got Link off Zelda and I've got Samus around off him. Eh? From the rich man's cast, this revolution won't be the last. Viva la revolution! Viva la revolution! Viva la revolution! I'm Stefan Peters. Uh, I work at Stigma Tattoo Liverpool. Uh, I've been tattooing for uh, almost eight years. This swallow here on my uh, visor. Um, I did it when I was 17 um, by a guy in, um, in fact I'm not even going to say where it was because it's a bit uh, on top. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, it hurt loads <laughs> and I was afraid for a whole year and didn't get another one. <laughs> Alright, my first tattoo was this one here and I was 15 years old and I skived off school for the day to um, go and see the local tattooist. It was done by a guy called Cliff. And um, I had to get a fake ID made to do it as well. <laughs> you know what? Probably this little cocktail glass there was the first tattoo I ever got with someone else. Like, uh, I've got a friend called Claire who lives in like Ibiza now, um, and we've both got the same the same thing because we're both like horrible drunks. <laughs> They're all meaningful in a way because they all remind me about the time when I had them or the things that were going on in my life when I had them. After I got my first tattoo, I um, sort of fell in love with the uh, the art form. I always wanted to be a tattooist, but it was never something that I was like, that's something I'll push towards trying to do, because I just thought, it's kind of like, how, how do you get into it? Like, how do you know that you're good enough to, you know, change someone's skin forever? I always knew I kind of wanted to do something art, you know, artsy anyway, and I was doing art in college at the time. One day I got really pissed off with the, the college that I was in and I didn't feel like I was kind of getting anywhere with it and um, decided to go down to a few tattoo studios and see if they'd let me um, just sit in and learn how to do it. The owner of the shop came over and said that um, he sees me in there every day and I'm always in there and would I like to get paid to be in there and um, he offered me a paid apprenticeship. Um, based on the, the book of drawings that I'd done. When I was 18, uh, and I got tattooed by uh, my friend Moby um, in a shop in Chester, and um, he actually offered me to like just go and, well, do an apprenticeship with him. Um, actually, I had to do a, a work placement for college, and I really didn't want to do it, so I just asked him, because he was tattooing me at the time, and I was just like, can I just come and hang out here for two weeks? <laughs> like, you know what I think is ridiculous? People who want to get tribal tattoos in this day and age, um, I understand it's, you know, that's just my opinion and I'll still do it and please no one judge like tribal tattoos based on what I'm saying, I'm just a, I'm just a guy. Today, like the, the, the state of tattooing today I think is, uh, it's, it's a massive, massive mixed bag. On one hand, there is like a wealth of like amazing tattooing that wasn't going on when I started tattooing. The standard is going through the roof and it is really, really hard to um, keep up with um, these new artists that are coming out. And the technology's changed a lot as well, so what we were um, able to do 10 years ago is nothing like what we're able to do today. Tattooing is a lot better on the whole, but at the same time, on the other hand, um, because it's so popular now, a lot of people just kind of think that they can, you know, pick up a machine and just start doing it. Um, so there's a lot. Tattooing is a lot better, but there's a lot of dregs uh, dragging down the industry at the moment, which isn't fantastic. <laughs> I don't, I don't have a deep and meaningful conceptual attachment to like a lot of the tattoos that I get done. Some of them just there's nothing wrong with having a bit of something that's a cool image or whatever that you feel 
you know, it fits that part of the body or whatever, you know.